10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's go. Yay. 240 hours, 29 minutes. It's time to break my fast. It's a wrap. Boom. We made it! <laughs> Time to refeed, guys. Let's go, let's go. Hey guys, what's up? My name is Tengu. Welcome or welcome back. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about my refeed journey, little backstory. I just finished a 10 day water fast yes you heard me right i didn't eat food for 10 days and yeah i had only water basically no tea no coffee i had electrolytes once in the morning and i didn't like it i didn't take any electrolytes um sauce i barely had any sauce maybe one or two days because i don't know i couldn't really chop down the sauce water so yeah, it's time for me to break my fast. I've been fasting for 240 something hours. That's 10 days-ish, yeah. So I'm so proud of myself, but this is not what the vlog is about. Your girl is famished, I'm hungry. I'm about to break my fast, and I'm going to break my fast with bone broth from Savory Honey Pot. Shout out to you, Amina. Thank you so much for the bone broth. I'm going to be leaving her details on the this um, on the uh, on the screen, guys. You don't understand how hungry I am. Like my first meal in ten days. <sighs> smells so good, guys. It smells so good. I can't even wait. I feel like I'm going to cry. I feel like I'm forgetting how to chew. But yeah. Okay, guys. Let's not talk too much. Let's just dig in. Here goes. Wait, what are you waiting for? I've had enough of you for 10 days. Hmm. Tastes good. Even though there's no salt or pepper or seasoning, it's better than just having water. Huh. Oh. Can I explain the feeling like, oh my god like pepper soup without the pepper and the seasoning mm. well, it feels so good because i was so low on energy feels good to have something else that is in water and yeah um i watched on youtube when you're breaking your fast you have to be really careful especially when you've done an extended fast you can't just jump right in and be eating solid food so you guys will see my refit plan for three days so day one we're going to be having like bone broth mostly i mean it's almost 8 p.m no sorry it's evening already i'm not going to be eating anything else so i'll just have bone broth and water then tomorrow day two we can dive into like smoothies um juices i think i can even have a juice today so after this i'll probably have like watermelon or pineapple juice then day three we can now do like soft boiled eggs um soft boiled eggs um, we can do a salad and maybe moi moi depending on how my body reacts so that's the plan basically but you guys will see my refill journey for three days so this is my first meal hmm. a little later i'll probably have pineapple juice so the advice you take it slow because i mean they said the enzymes in your stomach have been asleep and you can't just shock them because if you shock them you probably end up in the er or even end up dying i saw a video where they said a priest died he did a 21 day extended fast and he went straight to kfc or somewhere and had chicken fried chicken and obviously he died from complications like he shocked his system so much what well, yeah no, I'm, I'm not laughing but he, he shocked his system and he died so it's advisable you take it in stages you know 
let your stomach enzymes and muscles wake up slowly that being said my plan to sustain my weight loss obviously i know i'm going to gain some of the weight back because i'm sure half of this is water weight i lost 9.5 kg most of even if i gain back 4.4 I, I know there's some fat loss i'll give you the stats in my next video this is my refill no i'll give you the stats tomorrow i'm really really hungry now i just want to eat and regain some of my energy back to be honest i don't want to start talking about measurements and all of that jazz we'll probably do it tomorrow when i have much more energy for now i'm still exhausted and guys since um i feel like since i have strengthened or improved my fasting muscle i'm going to keep fasting so obviously i can't just stop now especially now that my body has adjusted to fasting my plan is to do adf so if you don't know what adf is it's alternate alternate day fasting so alternate day fasting is a pattern of eating where basically you alternate between eating and feasting so today i feast or eat tomorrow i fast today you eat tomorrow i fast also you have to be very cautious about what you eat you can't go chucking down burgers and pizzas because the calories are going to add up so you have to still eat smart and you still have to exercise so i'm thinking i'll start with um after my refill journey i'll start with a 36 hour fast for a few weeks or a month and when my body has adjusted i'll now start 48 hour 48 hour fast so i'll eat one day fast for 48 hours repeat the pattern they call them rolling fast over and over again i think the highest number i've seen the most popular one is 72 rolling fast now when you eat a meal after 72 hours you eat your next meal but i'm not there yet i know i'm wonder woman i'm not there yet <laughs> So yeah, I've seen one guy finally fasting Jerome. He does rolling 72. He even does rolling 92. I think his his hours are crazy, but he has really lost a lot of weight. And when it comes to eating, guys, he eats every and anything. One sitting, he can eat like 6,000 calories. No jokes. I'll link his um his his channel in the description box. You guys definitely need to check him out. He's one of his my inspiration for fasting he has done really well he went from almost 300 pounds now he's 140 pounds eating what you want but the thing is he has to fast and during his fasting days he goes out to work out so he would walk and he also goes to the gym to lift weights so yeah for me i find it will be easier for me because i don't know i'm not a kind of i'm not a portion control girl you can't give me maybe plantain or cake and tell me it's one quarter now eat and leave now mm -mm. i'm nigerian we finish our food <laughs> so now instead of you know stuffing my face every day that's why i'm um, 16 eights never really works for me because when it's time to break my fast i think i go overboard so now it's either i'm eating or i'm not eating that will work for me also i'll give while i'm fasting i'll give my digestive system a break because if you are eating back to back, back to back, back to back, you will never tap into your fat stores. When will you tap into it? Your energy, you still you keep using glucose for energy. So I need to burn my accumulated fats. I'm currently 80 what? 87 point something. I don't know. And my goal weight is you guys know now road to 75 kg. So I still have a long way to go. Hopefully by summer I would have gotten there. So yeah that's my plan and this is day one thank you for listening to my ramblings i'll see you guys later or tomorrow depending on how i feel Toodles. later that same evening The next day. 
so guys for those of you asking if i got a keto rash sure I did look at i think i got this on day nine but it will go sha it's normal people get rashes all the time I have some in my head but it will clear out yeah so guys these are basically the meals i'll have from day to day i didn't want to bore you guys with posting the same meals over and over so i'll have like a salad juice scrambled eggs like i told you i have soft food my go-to was watermelon because it was so refreshing and easy to make and yeah guys we've come to the end of the video so yeah in my in my next video we'll get into the meat and potatoes of the video i didn't want to know you have questions about my weight loss my inches and all of that so drop Drop me your questions below because in my next video do a q and a i will look through the statistics and everything regarding my 10 day fast thank you so much for watching this video make sure you share you like you subscribe i love you guys and i'll be seeing you in my next one toodles bye